Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at Conduit Coffee's Spring Blossom Blend. This is one of the coffees uh, being featured in the first Coffee Lovers box. If this is the first video you're coming to, I highly recommend you check out the overview video on the Coffee Lovers box. You can either see that above if you're on the page with the Coffee Lovers box, uh, or you can find a link below this video if you're watching the video somewhere else. So let's talk about Conduit Coffee's Spring Blossom Blend. Now you notice that I have a particular design to these bags uh, where I have a couple descriptions on them. At the bottom here is the roaster featured. So we have Conduit Coffee and the Spring Blossom Blend and their description. A delicious combination of Peruvian and Ethiopian coffees. We find milk chocolate, Jordan almond, vanilla, and cherries. And then at the top you find my description. Uh, and if you've watched my other videos, you know that uh, I like to come up with relatable, interesting taste descriptions. The way we taste coffee is very interesting though. Well, we, we talk about lots of notes and flavors and stuff in coffee, but we're not actually adding these things to the coffee. It's just the coffee itself, and coffee has a lot of natural complex flavors. So when we're tasting coffee, we're thinking back on things that we remember tasting in the past, and we try to connect the connect the dots basically. And this coffee makes me think of chocolate covered cherries. Now the reason I picked this coffee for the box, I really wanted to show you what fruit taste in coffee is like, but I didn't want to have a coffee in here that was just overwhelmingly fruity. Turns out the Spring Blossom Blend is the perfect example of a coffee that exhibits fruit experience, but has a really good chocolate base. Something that is relatable, but which will let you explore that kind of fruit uh, characteristic. And if you're already into fruity coffees, this coffee is really delicious. So we're gonna have a smell of this coffee and then brew it and taste it up. So let's have a, let's have a smell. The, the coffee in the bag, this particular coffee in the bag is re smells really strongly of like raisins, of, of sugary, sweet fruit. And I, and I think it's just, it's like the fruit characteristic and the chocolate kind of melding together uh, in the bag. And it just comes off as this like sugary, sweet, uh, fruity, um, yeah, raisins is really is really strong up front. Uh, it could also be like dried cherries. You could you could call it that as well. Let's go ahead and brew us up some of this coffee, and then we're going to see what it's all about. And we're back. Uh, this coffee has uh, a lot of fun complexity to it. So as I was brewing it, of course, smelling the uh, grounds, the ground aroma much different from the the whole bean in the bag. What I got was a lot of like it was really jammy, like thick, sweet, like lots of fruit, and there was spice in there as well. It's really intriguing. I think it was it was too busy to pick up on any chocolate. It was possible that that chocolatiness was kind of contributing to the sort of jamminess and that that like rich sweetness. Uh, but that was that was like just the aroma of the grounds uh, right before brewing. And now of course we have the brood. And this comes off like the aroma on here is just super cherry like, like, like fresh cherries is kind of what I smell on this. Now this is, this is kind of a, a lighter coffee a bit compared to the other two. There's some like delicate nuances going on in here. And this coffee will benefit more from cooling perhaps than the other two in terms of what you're going to taste. So this is, this is fairly hot right off the brew. And right off the bat, it's mostly chocolate to me. And there's a, there's a good level of sweetness here. I would call it somewhere between a milk and a dark chocolate because there's kind of a brighter edge to it. Uh, but it's mostly the chocolatiness that I'm tasting right now. And it really wants to cool to bring out some of the more delicate flavors. So this is, this is a combination of, of Peru and Ethiopian. And that's kind of where you get that, that combination of chocolate and fruit is, is those two kind of put together. And, and they, do, um, they do dance really well. Uh, in this cup, but I think we want this to cool a little bit. So as I said with the other coffees, this can be brewed pretty much any way that you like. Uh, I've done this on the Kalita Wave. You can do this on any pour over, any drip, any automated dripper, any immersion style method. You could do it as espresso. You could do it as cold brew. When you get into those more extremes like uh, espresso and cold brew, you're going to pull out a slightly different experience. Like with this coffee, I think the espresso tends to be a bit brighter, more fruity, although you still get some chocolate with that. The cold brew is going to lean more towards the chocolate. As this cools, yep, the uh, I'm starting to get a starting to get a hint of that cherry, uh, and it comes through as like this, uh, just this fruity juiciness kind of starts appearing. And as it cools even more, this brighter, brighter, just kind of cherry just kind of starts to appear. 
Uh, and that's why I like, I like calling this chocolate covered cherries. Cause if you think about biting into a chocolate covered cherry, the, I mean, at the beginning it's all chocolate it's chocolate and it's sweet. And then you hit the cherry and you bite and there's this burst of brightness and you, and the cherry juiciness and it just kind of melds together at that point. And there's that brightness, that bright cherry and it's sweet. It's sweet and smooth. And then at that point, uh, this point, the chocolate and the cherry just kind of dance together. So this is gonna give you a really nice introduction to what fruit is like in coffee. You're gonna taste the brighter fruit acidity. There's a sweetness that's different with, uh, like fruit sweetness is a bit different from, uh, like if you, if you have this side by side with the Seattle Coffee Works Emerald City Blend, you'll see that there's a, there's kind of a pastry-like sweetness in that one, and there's a fruit-like sweetness in this one, and that they're very different. And this is gonna give you a good introduction to fruit and coffee. Understanding that you can get a lot fruitier as far as coffee goes. But the more this cools, the more the fruit comes out. Now, a cherry is really like the dominating experience at this point. Really fun, really fun experience. Chocolate covered cherries describes it really well for me. So that is Conduit Coffee's Spring Blossom Blend. If you like the sound of that, the Coffee Lover's Box is available for a short time. Again, if you haven't watched the overview video on the Coffee Lover's Box, I encourage you to go do that. It explains a lot more about the box itself. There are two other coffees in here. So you get three coffees from three of my favorite roasters. Conduit Coffee is one of them. The Coffee Lover's Box is going for $19.95 and shipping is free in the US. If you're watching this on the page where the Coffee Lover's Box is available, you'll see that there's a timer at the top of the page. That's because there's a limited time to buy the box. Uh, that's all explained in that overview video, as I mentioned. Uh, but please do grab your box before the time is up. If you're watching this video elsewhere, uh, you'll be able to see links to order the Coffee Lover's Box below the video and to see the other videos that are available. Thank you for watching.